Hey guys, how are you today? So we're going to be doing a September update video and I'm just going to quickly run through like I always do um, of plants that are actually doing something at the moment and we're going to skip through the ones that aren't doing anything. But let's get started. We'll just start right here and this is my one and only Stenhumpia right now and that's the Negro Violacea Black Tiger. It's starting to mature this leaf, this growth right here, and um, maturing that pseudobulb. But it's got to be watered. I potted all the moats van the vandacious, I should say, orchids um, up, and I think they're looking really nicely. My Bangkok sunset has a whole bunch of new root tips. I'm happy about that. And then over here stink bugs those are like really gross bugs um, this right here is my sulfurnitis um, chenua and I noticed a new growth coming on this leaf right here of that bulb anyway I don't know if you can see it there it is it's just a little green growth right there at the base seeing if I could focus but maybe I can't but anyway I lost a few leaves right in the middle and um, I might be losing a couple more but I do think it's gonna bounce back very well uh, this is my Rinko stylus Gigantia spots doing good has some roots more of the Vandas all they all seem to be um, growing nice roots so that's good. Here is my species fowl. The only one right now that I have, unless you count the Sideria japonica, which is now a species Phalaenopsis. But um, this is Phalaenopsis cheruliana. And I noticed it did, um, it's been getting dry really fast because it is on this mount. So I hung some sphagnum moss up on it so it would keep some more humidity around it and it's starting to grow new root tips and things like that so that's good more moats pandas I have so many of them now but that's not a bad thing at all another Rinko stylus gigantia orange uh, that's a variety orange and it's growing new roots this is the one that is it's a Banda falcata by Den Denisoniana and it actually if you remember only had one good root left now I have this root that root and then that one that I've seen so far so I'm sure there's more but I'm happy that it has three new roots we're gonna go back here um, we haven't had some really like we've had cooler nights but nothing like extremely cooler and um, I'm kind of waiting for the Vanda Sendariana to spike because they need that cooler drop in temperature between day and night time to be able to spike this is my um, Fred Clarkia after dark SVO black pearl and I haven't seen any spike any like thing looking like it's going to spike but it does have a huge bulb on it this year like I got it this year but that's the old bulb and then that's the new one so I think it's doing really well so hopefully it'll decide to bloom before too too long um, here is a little update on the catacetum Karen Armstrong and you can see this spike is forming and I can see at least four, maybe six buds on it as of right now. But that's doing well. That's the only one, like, of the catacetums that I've found in Spike. Um, there's some little smaller seedlings. The, this Brassio, Brassio um hippo. Hippodamia. It has a new growth on it. All the Carter and Home seedlings that I got. This one, that one, 
and then this one back here are growing a whole bunch of new roots and some new growth so that's great I wanted to do a little update on this butterwort it has a new flower coming up so I think it'll do just fine uh, there's my neophonicias this one seems to have more of like a mud ruby kind of mud root tip I don't know exactly what colors like there are I know there's ruby red and there's uh, a mud root tip but that might be considered a mud but it could be considered a ruby um, red root tip and this is the um, no ID um, Neophonisha that I got from Tropical One Imports are Tom Ritter's orchids in Florida and she doesn't know exactly what it is but uh, she said it is pink. She said it was supposed to be white but then they ended up turning out to be pink. Down below here, um, this was blooming when I was down in Florida. This is Catlia Green Emerald Orchid Queen. And you can see that new growth coming on here. A bunch of stuff from Florida. This is the Psychopsis that I saved. I kind of rescued from one of my members, a friend of mine, a member of the my Orchid Society, and he could never grow it. And I noticed it has a new growth coming on it. And it has a bud coming on it. So I'm happy about that. I think it's doing better. Hopefully it'll keep on doing well in my care. Um, just some odds and ends. This is actually something new that I got at my first meeting this year, uh, of, of this year. It's an Oncidium non-bow waltz bozo sweet and it almost has like a citronella fragrance to it it's kind of um very unique in its fragrance but it's really pretty i think um and actually i'm I, i'm splitting this with a friend of mine we went in together we both paid eight dollars so together we paid sixteen dollars for it and then this one was given to me this Boletta and um, you, the, you can see this flower is opening up and that flower is fading but it's very nice it's a hardy ground orchid that it's not quite in a protected area it will be hardy um, around my house but uh, if it's not in a protected area and let's say it was just an out in the middle of the field there's no way it could survive so hopefully we're going to be trying to get a hardy orchid bed um my hoya is doing nice the project plant for orchidholic anonymous is there, there's the tag and it is maturing the new growth that i that Wade sent with and then also it has a baby new growth down there so that's really nice hopefully they'll flower <laughs> I ordered this off, off of um, Amazon another pitcher plant my pitcher plant is kind of like raggedy looking and um, it's going okay but it's not as nice as this one so I bought this and hopefully this one will stay nice and pretty looking. I'm going to stop this video here and we're going to make a part two.